And let's see, we're gonna start out laying down today. So uh, come on down to your back and you can have your legs straight or bent with the feet on the floor, whichever is more comfortable for you. And then once you get down on your back, good morning, Dan. Just let your shoulders melt into the mat. Let your face soften, your eyes close down. Get at a hand at your heart and hand on your belly or just have your arms to your sides. And then begin a deeper breath here, a big inhale and a long exhale. And see if you can continue that breath through your nose, keep your mouth closed. And as you work on lengthening this breath, it might be helpful to count the breath. So take an inhale and maybe count to three or five. Exhaling, counting the same. See if you can add maybe when you begin, you start with three breath or three count, and then you can add to four or five. Two more full breaths here. And then if your legs are bent with your feet on the floor, go ahead and extend your legs. Extend your arms up over your head. Take a big stretch as you take that inhale. Stretch through your fingers and your toes. And then grab onto your right wrist with your left hand. We're gonna do a little lateral flexion here, supine. So start to draw that right arm up and over towards the left side. Good, and then we'll come back to center. Grab your left hand with your right wrist. Lateral flexion to the right, reach up and over. Keep pressing through that left foot as if you were standing up on the floor. Come on back to center. Bring your knees into your chest. Take a squeeze here. You can take a little motion, take a little side to side or make a little circle. And then we'll take a little spinal twist. So bring both knees over to the left side. Take your arms up to T or to cactus and take your gaze over to the right side as you get a big breath into that right side body. And as you inhale, pull your belly in, bring your knees back to center. And then as you exhale, take both knees over to the right side. Take your gaze to the left side. Good. And belly pulls in. Inhale. Knees come back up to center. Drop the feet back to the floor. Now do keep your knees bent here and keep your 
feet uh, hip distance apart. We're gonna take a little, uh, do a little spinal work here. So on the inhale, draw the tailbone down towards the floor. You'll create that little arch in your back. So you maybe even be able to put your hands underneath that little arch that you made. And then as you exhale, push your low back into the mat. You don't need to lift your hips here, keep your hips down. Inhale again, roll the tailbone down towards the floor. And then exhale, push your low back into the mat. And continue with that, just follow your own breath. So just like cat cow, inhale, tailbone points down. Exhale, low back presses in. Take about two more of those. Get about two more of those. And then as you finish up, you're going to squeeze the knees back into your chest again. Add that little side-to-side -side motion or make a little circle. And then once again, extend the legs, extend the arms. Make that long line. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. We'll take that lateral flexion again. Take the left hand and hold on to the right wrist. Reach up and over towards the left. Act as if you're pressing through the right foot on the floor. Come back to center. Swap the hands. Right hand to left wrist. Reach up and over to the right. And then again, pressing through as if you're standing on your feet. And then back to center. So we're going to warm up a little core work right away today. So I'm going to walk you through a couple options. You're going to start all, all the way on your back with those arms extended up over the head. As you inhale, rise up, reach your right hand for your left foot. So we're twisting as we lift. And then exhale nice and slow, lower down to the floor. Inhale, rise up. We're going to the opposite side. Now left hand goes to the outside of the right foot. And then lower down, nice and slow. And here we go. Switch it up back to that first side. So continue with that. You're inhaling as you come down and exhaling as you come up. If that's too much with a straight leg, you can bend the knee and have the knee bent. If it's too much to lift up from the ground, just stay low on your back and bring your knees into your chest, okay? And we'll just do lower abs there. So keep going on your own here. Inhale as you lower and exhale as you lift. Good. And then another option would be if you don't like to lift your leg here, you can just do um, bicycles too. So we do the elbows going towards the opposite knees. So any pace is good, just follow your breath. I'm not counting. Just trying to get a bunch, get a warm up here. All right, so continue on, we got maybe four more or so. And last one. And once you're down on the mat again, one more time, bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rock side to side. Make a little circle. You can roll your ankles here. Spread your toes. All right. And then we're going to find our way to downward facing dog. So you can cross your ankles. Roll on up. You can come to the side or go over the shins. And then find your way into down dog. And then once you're there, just settle into your down dog. Alternate through your heels. Maybe move your hips side to side. If you need a child's pose for a moment, take a child's pose. And then settle in. So find some stillness here. Heels sink. Hips go high, inner thighs go back. Strong arms pushing through your fingertips. Sure, head be loose.
Take a full breath in. A long breath out. Another inhale. And then this time as you exhale, bend your knees, start to walk up to the top of your mat. Take as many steps as you need and find a forward fold here. Let the head just go loose. Keep a lot of bend in the knee. Maybe shift the weight side to side. Feel all corners of your feet pressing into the floor. And just hold here in this forward fold. So we're gonna bring the hands back to the low back, interlace the fingers, press the heels of the palms towards one another, and then stretch the knuckles up towards the sky, any amount. We'll keep the heels of the palms coming towards one another here. And take another full inhale. And a long exhale. Hands come back down to the floor. Next inhale, take a half lift, extend your heart forward. And then exhale, refold. We're gonna come up all the way to standing now. Bend the knees, round the back, tuck the chin, push into the floor as you come up. Inhale, reach the arms up over the head. Let the palms come together. And then exhale, send the hands in to your heart. On your inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, refold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, refold. Step back to your downward facing dog. <clears throat> Good. Inhale, come forward to plank. Hold for a moment here. If you need to drop the knees, go ahead and drop the knees. Again, just building up some heat. And we're going to come all the way down to the mat. So bend the elbows, shift forward slightly, and then lower all the way down. Let the belly touch, let the tops of the feet press down into the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, but squeeze the elbows back. Good. Exhale, release. Push all the way up and back into down dog. So that can be to a push-up, or it can be into child's pose. And then once you're back and down, that big breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale. On your exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step jump or walk your way to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, refold. Bend the knees, tuck the chin. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And then exhale, send the hands hearts. And we're gonna do that one more time. Just that sun sweep up, inhale, exhale, swan dive forward, fold, half lift. As you exhale, step back, find down dog. Inhale, forward plank and hold. Remember the knees can go down. Take another breath in. And then exhale all the way to the mat. Belly touches, taps the feet. Inhale, little lift here. If you want to go all the way up into um, up dog, go ahead. Press into your feet, lift your thighs. And then move on your exhale again, up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step jump or walk your way up top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, tuck the chin, round the back. Inhale, reach up. This time on the exhale, come into chair. Bend the knees, send the hips back. Good. All right, we're going to take that um, chest expansion again. So bring the arms back behind once again. Interlace the fingers. Keep the heels of the palms squeezing towards one in here, another here. You can keep those thumbs right on your sacrum there. Reach the heart up and then maybe extend the arms, but if that's too much, just keep them bent. See if you can get a little deeper. And then try to balance here. So balancing in your chair, take the weight into the balls of your feet as you lift the heels off the floor. Good. Keep the low belly pulled in. Take another breath in. Try to keep the hands the same. We're going to 
uh, bring the heels back down to the mat, let the belly go to the thighs, and then straighten into that forward fold. And maybe the arms reach up towards the sky, or maybe they stay. Good, release the hands to the floor. Inhale, once again, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back. We're gonna move through that vinyasa. You know, you can always skip that vinyasa. You can take a child's pose if you need. So this time through, you can add the up dog if you'd like, or stick with the cobra. Then find your way back into down dog. Big breath in. And long breath out. On your next exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step, jump, or walk your way to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, push into the feet, inhale, rise up, arms reach up over the head, and on the exhale, you come back to chair. All right, we're gonna twist our chair. So squeeze the inner knees in towards one another, low belly pulls in and up. You're gonna to start to twist the right elbow towards the left knee. Maybe not touch today, maybe just hover. Hover the elbow over the knee, it's a little bit harder. Squeeze, squeeze the right hip in and back so that right knee stays in line with your left knee. Good, wiggle your toes around here. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, left elbow over the top of the right knee. Maybe not connect, maybe just hover here. And then watch the left knee, keep it in line with the right knee. All right, come back center, we're gonna do it one more time. We got it, come on. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee, hover. Maybe connect this time if you'd like to. Heartless to the thumbs. Good, come back center, inhale. I know you're getting a little heat there. Exhale, twist left, uh, left elbow to the right side. Awesome, come back center, one more breath in, and then exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back, and your vinyasa. And then settling breath once you're back to down dog. All right, from down dog, reach your right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee and open the hip here. Keep flexing your right foot, sink into your left heel. Stay strong in your arms. Try not to lift, uh, lean all of your weight into your left hand. All right, and then we're gonna unwind. Bring the right knee in towards the chest here for a moment, come to plank, and then step the right foot up in between the hands. Drop the left knee to the floor. Let the hips sink towards the mat as the heart lifts up. Inhale. And then as you exhale, a little modified period pyramid. So tuck your back toes, start to lift your hips up and back, straighten your right leg any amount, push through your right big toe mount. Let your head drop toward your shin. Good. And then exhale, drop the left knee again, let the hips sink towards the floor. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, that modified pyramid. Good, inhale, come forward, exhale, drop your left knee, inhale, lift your heart one more time, exhale, modified pyramid. Really come forward again, drop the left knee to the floor, now walk your hands up to the top of your right side. All right, so um, we're gonna do a little bit of stretch for that back ankle here. If this is too much, you can bring the hands back down to the floor and it'll be a little bit more supportive, okay? So I have the left foot flat on the floor, pushing down into my right big toe mount here, and then I'm gonna lift my left knee away from the floor. All right, so a little stretch for the ankle, nice hip flexor stretch there. Once again, if that's too much, you can bring the hands to the floor. It'll be a little less intense. And hold for a breath or two. And exhale, release. 
toe heel that right foot out to the ed right edge of your mat and then just let your hips sink a little bit deeper here we'll take a twist keep your left hand down take your right hand to your right side look over your right shoulder you can stay there or you can bring that left heel in towards your back and maybe grab the foot take a quad stretch there or maybe just reach the fingers back and squeeze the heel towards your back One more inhale, and then exhale, release, step back, add a vinyasa, or skip it. Settling breath, once you're backing down, that big inhale. Full exhale. All right, here we go, left side, left leg lifts. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Stay even in the weight in both of your hands. Sink into your right heel. Flex that left foot. All right, we're going to start to bring the knee to the chest. Come to plank. Round the back. Hold the knee here for a moment. And then step the foot up in between the hands. Drop the right knee. Let the hips sink. Let the heart lift. Inhale, exhale, we're going to move back to that modified pyramid, tuck the toes, start to straighten out the right leg any amount here, keep pushing the right big toe mound down, let the head drop. All right, and then drop it back into that lunge, knee touches down, hips sink, heart lifts, inhale, exhale, move back. To that pyramid pose. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Drop the knee, drop the hips. Inhale, lift the heart. One last time. Exhale, move back, pyramid. Inhale. Good. Exhale, bend the knee. Drop the right knee, lift the heart. Inhale. Good, and release. So again, we're gonna do that little lift of the back leg. The uh, hands can be down on the floor. It's a little bit less intense, or they can be up on top of the thigh here. When you're ready, top of the foot pushes into the mat, hands push into the thigh, and then lift that right knee away from the floor. Squeeze the legs in towards one another. Excellent. Drop the knee back to the floor. Hands come down to the mat. Toe heel that left foot over to the left edge of the mat and let the hips sink here. And we'll take the twist. Right hand stays down, left hand goes to the left knee and we bring that right heel in and maybe you grab it, maybe you can get the foot, maybe you can't. If you can't, it's fine. You just squeeze the heel towards your back and reach your fingers towards the back of the wall or the back of the mat. Good. And then look over your shoulder, big inhale. Exhale, release, step back, and vinyasa or skip. And again, settling breath once you're back in down dog. If you need a little shift or a little, again, alternating through your heels, go ahead and take that. All right, and we'll start again. Right leg lifts, open up the hip, bend the knee. Let the knee come into the chest, come forward to plank, hold for a moment. We're rounding in the back, and then step the right foot up in between the hands. This time we're coming to crescent. Push down into your feet and rise on up here. Reach the arms up. Now bend the elbows and lift your heart. Let your uh, palms stay open, fingers spreading out nice and wide. Good. One more inhale, lift your heart. And then as you exhale, just reach the left arm forward, the right arm back. Keep lifting that left thigh, take another breath in, and then we're gonna just roll this right into warrior two. So drop your right hand, bring it around front, Bring your left hand back. 
and then sink in to your right knee. Let that right ankle be right over, or right knee be right over top of your right ankle. All right, outer edge of your left foot presses down. We're gonna slide this left hand back into a half bind. So it might come just to your low back. It might come all the way around to your right hip. If it comes around to your right hip, so you can grab onto your shirt or your pants here. And then keep the right knee where it is. Reach the right arm up and back for your reverse warrior. Keep the legs nice and strong. Take a breath in. As you exhale, unwind your arms, straighten your legs, and come into your triangle pose. So right hand comes down to shin. Roll the heart up towards the sky. All right, we're gonna add a little core piece here today. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Roll your heart up. Let your palm face forward. And then as you inhale, lift up. As you exhale, lower the, the right fingers down towards the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower the fingers. Good. The whole time, keep that nice open chest. And if it's easier to bring this left hand down to your left hip or back into that bind, you can take that option as well. We've got two more of these. Mm -hmm. Good. Awesome. And then re, uh, come back into warrior two. So again, bend the right knee, open up again. Inhale, take that reverse. And exhale, unwind, step back, down dog or vinyasa. All right, and last side, left leg lifts. Open up the hip, bend the knee, flex the foot. Bring the knee around front, come into plank. Hold here for a moment, round the back, bring the knee towards the chest, push the floor away, and then step the left foot up in between the hands. We're coming to crescent lunge. So get steady and the feet rise on up. All right, bend the elbows out wide, lift your heart, slide your shoulders away. And then go right hand forward, left hand back, little revolution. Keep lifting that right thigh away from the floor. Take a breath in, extend through your fingers, and then exhale, open up to warrior two. Left knee over top of the left ankle. All right, outside of your right foot presses into the floor. We'll slide that right hand back behind, half bind. You can grab onto that hip or shirt or pants. And then keep the left knee bent as you come into that reverse. Left knee coming forward, left fingers coming back. Unwind into triangle. So as we straighten out that left leg, send your left fingers towards the floor, right fingers up towards the sky. Good, and roll your heart up here. All right, and we'll add that little core. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the fingers towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more times. Two more times. Keep squeezing the inner thighs towards one another. Good, and then back. And then we go back to warrior two. Rebend the left knee. Reach the fingers, take a reverse, inhale, and exhale, unwind. Plant the hand, step back, add a vinyasa or skip it. We'll all be back in downward facing dog. Take a side of breath. Okay, so we got that. We did it kind of slow that first time through. We're gonna do it a little bit faster, same sequence. We're just gonna do it a little bit faster this time. All right, here we go. Right side, right leg lifts, open up the hip, flex your right foot, come forward to plank, bring the knee to the chest, step the right foot up in between the hands, come to crescent, rise up. Good, open the elbows. Start to stretch the left arm forward, the right arm back. 
Keep that left thigh lifting. Inhale here. And then exhale, warrior two. Good. Take, take the left hand back. Reach for your reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, come to triangle. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep the belly tight. Last one. Good. We go back to warrior two. Take your reverse. Inhale. And then exhale. Unwind. Step back. Vinyasa if you wish. Big breath and down up. Very good. Left side, left leg lifts. Open up the hip, bend the knee. Bring the knee to the chest, round the back. Step the left foot up in between the hands. We come to crescent, rise on up. Open the elbows, lift the heart. Good, now right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Take an inhale, stretch through the fingers. And then exhale, open up, warrior two. Take that half bind, inhale. Exhale, come into triangle. And we got five, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, three more. Good, two more. And last one, lift. And lower, re-bend, warrior two. Reverse, inhale. Exhale, unwind, step back. Vinyasa, we'll rest. And wherever you are, catch your breath. Good work. All right, this time as you lift the right leg, just keep it straight so the heel is lifting towards the sky. Imagine you can push your heel back onto a wall behind you. Stay here for a moment. All right, and then as you come forward, right knee again comes in towards the chest, but now slide it towards the left elbow. And hold, keep pushing the floor away. Good, bring it back to center. Step the right foot up in between the hands. We're coming back into crescent lunge. So push down into the feet, rise on up. Good. Now bring the hands to heart center. Lean forward over the right thigh. Keep squeezing the right hip in and back. And then we'll take twisted prayer lunge. So left elbow towards the right knee. And again, if you wanna hover the elbow like we did in the twisted chair earlier, you can take that version as well. Good. Holding, holding, holding. Take another breath in. Good. Release the hands to the floor. We're going to walk it to wide straddle. So turn the toes in a little bit, heels out a little bit, and then just fold down. Let the head just go loose. You can walk your hands in towards the center of your mat or all the way to the outer edge of your mat. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bend your knees here. You're gonna walk up to the thighs, turn the toes out, so goddess pose. Turn the toes out and heels in. You may need to shorten up your stance, so that might mean scooching your heels in towards one another here, and then just get down into your goddess pose. You can shift the weight a little bit side to side. We're gonna add a little core piece again. All right, reach your arms out to the side, get low. So on the exhale, this time we're gonna just drop the right hand to the outside of the right knee or the calf. Your choice how low you can go. You can go all the way to the floor if you want to. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back to goddess. Inhale. Exhale, opposite side, left hand to left leg. Good, inhale, come up. Exhale, sink into goddess. Inhale here. Exhale to the right. Good, 
Back to center, drop on your exhale. Inhale, exhale to the left. Woo. Good, come back to center, one more drop. Sweet, and then inhale, reach your arms up, straighten out your legs, and return back into that crescent lunge, facing the top of the mat. Big breath in, reach your heart, and then as you exhale, drop it down, step back, go through your flow. Okay. Left side, left leg lifts, toes point down, flex the foot, push your heel back as if you could touch a wall behind you. All right, come forward, bring the knee into the chest. Now we're sliding the right, uh, left knee towards the right elbow. Keep pushing the floor away. Good, come back, center, step the left foot up, in between the hands, we come to that crescent lunge, rise on up. Get stable on your feet. If you need a little bit more stability, get wider here. Reach your heart, reach your heart, inhale. Palms come together, hands come to heart center, lean over that left thigh, and then twist right elbow towards left knee. Remember, you can hover this elbow. Mm -hmm. Press the palms together, slide the shoulders away from the ears. Keep lifting that back thigh. Good, again, another breath in. On the exhale, hands come to the floor. We're gonna walk to that wide straddle again. So turn towards the long edge of your mat. At first, just the fold. So the toes point in, the heels point out, and then drop your chest towards the floor. So if you wanna add a little bit more here, you can take the hands to the ankles. Maybe even get your fingers underneath your feet. And then bend your elbows away from each other as you drop your head lower. Take another inhale. And a nice long exhale. All right. One more time with that little core goddess. We're gonna bend the knees, rise on up. Heels in, toes out, shorten the stance if you need to. Sink down into your goddess. All right, and here we go. We'll start with the left side this time. So arms reach out, inhale. Exhale, drop the left hand to the left leg. Inhale, come back. Exhale, sink. Inhale, exhale, right. Good, inhale, back to center. Exhale, sink. Come to the left and center and sink. Oh gosh. And center. And sink, we got one more in us. Here we go, left side and center and sink. Right side and center, oh yeah. All right, reach up, inhale, straighten the legs, turn towards the front of the mat, plant your hands, step back. And a vinyasa if you'd like. If you're going right to child's pose, go right there and we'll all meet in child's pose in a moment. Let's take a moment to set out the breath. Come back to that nice, smooth, long breath again. We'll take one more full breath in, and then on your exhale, start to go back into your downward facing dog. Reach that right leg up again. Bring the knee into the chest, come to your plank. Now draw your right knee towards your right elbow, and hold, push into the floor. Good, bring it back to center, step the right foot up in between the hands. Drop the left knee to the mat. Walk on up to the top of the right leg. So we're gonna do a modified camel. So shift the hips first before you go into this. You wanna bring the hips right over that left knee and you might need to walk that right foot in. I like the back toes tucked. You can also keep them, uh, keep the foot flat if you like. 
All right, and then the right arm's gonna reach up towards the sky. The left arm's gonna reach back for maybe your heel. If you can't get it, no worries. Keep pushing that right foot down into the mat. Right big toe mount into the mat. And you might be looking towards the left. See if you can start to now take your gaze towards the front of the mat. Lift your heart, inhale. As you exhale, pull your belly in and drop your hands. Good. I'm gonna come back into a one leg down dog, a three point down dog. So swing that right leg back. You might need a little shake out there. And then right foot meets left. Okay, we'll go left side. Left leg lifts. Come forward to plank, bring the left knee in towards the left elbow. Hold, push the floor away. And then left foot steps up in between the hands. Drop the right knee to the floor. Walk on up. Okay, before we go to that camel, we'll shift the hips back. And you might need to move that left foot. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. Take it back towards the right leg. Reach the left arm up towards this guy. So you're probably facing the right. See if you can adjust that a little bit. So you're dropping your left shoulder a little bit more in line with your right. You gotta keep the core engaged. You gotta keep the legs engaged. Keep squeezing the heel towards the knee, the knee towards the heel. Beautiful. Before you move, pull your belly in, rise up, and then exhale, drop your hands. Kick that left leg back, three point down dog, shake out if you need to. Awesome, and then left foot meets right foot. Good, inhale, we're gonna move to the top of the mat, exhale, bend the knees, step jump or walk your way up, forward fold. All right, widen the stance here now. So feet go to the edges of the mat. Let the hands grab onto the elbows. Let gravity help you here. Pull your head towards the floor. And if you want to add a little bit of motion, go ahead, side to side. Okay. Release the hands to the floor, toe, heel your feet back in, hip distance. Bend the knees, tuck the chin around the back, rising back up again. Inhale, arms up over the head. Bring the hands in to heart center. All right, we're gonna do dancer for our balance today. So bring your hands to your hips to start. Shift the weight into your right foot. Start to lift the left foot towards your butt here. Flex your foot. All right, and then you're gonna reach back with your left hand and hold on to that foot. So you can be on the outside of the foot or on the inside, whichever one is more comfortable for you. So before you begin, you're gonna bend the right knee a little bit here, push the left hand and the left foot in towards one another, and then start to extend the left knee back as you reach the right arm forward. Okay, and just like we did in camel, if you're leaning or you're facing towards the left, see if you can square that off a little bit. But keep the left knee pointing down towards the floor. All right, listen up as we go through the next part. So bend your left knee, release your foot, hands come to heart center, keep your left foot back, and now extend into warrior three. So we'll straighten a little bit more into the right leg. Roll the left pinky down towards the floor. Reach your heart forward. Beautiful. And hold. Good. Bend the right knee again. Bring the left knee in. And then drop your left foot. Hands to your hips. Do a little shake out. Maybe tap that right foot out. All right. All right, we'll go left side. So shifting the weight into the left foot now. Keep a little bend there. We start to lift the right heel towards the back and then grab onto that right foot. So inside or outside, your choice. And then when you're ready, there's a little bend in that left leg and then we start to extend. So again, see if you can roll the shoulders down towards the floor. Keep that right knee pointing down towards the mat. Squeeze or press your foot and your hand against each other. Let them resist each other. All 
All right, and nice and slow and controlled into warrior three. Little bend in the left knee first. Hands come to heart and then extend right leg and left leg at the same time. Push the right heel back, reach the heart forward, roll the right pinky toe down towards the floor. Perfect. Take another full inhale. Bend the left knee, exhale. Bring your right knee in to meet your left. Hands to hips, little shake out. Tap that left foot. Good work. And then from the top of the mat, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, refold. Inhale, half lift. Go ahead, wash it out, vinyasa. And find your way back into downward facing dog. Nice work. Okay. Almost to the floor. Here we go. One more thing. Right leg lifts, three point down dog. Just like we've been doing, bring the knee into the chest, round the back, push the floor away. And now we're gonna kick that right foot to the left side of the mat. Let the outer edge of the right foot come down to the floor. If you wanna keep your hands, you just keep your hands down. If you wanna open this up, you bring the left arm up towards the sky. Good. Follow the triangle, take a breath in. Exhale, release, pull your knee into your chest again. Send that right leg all the way back. And then right foot meets left. And we'll do the opposite side. Left leg lift. Bring the left knee in towards your chest. Round your back. Now slide the left leg towards the right. Outer edge of your left foot presses down. You can stay or you can open that up for fall and triangle. So fall and triangle, inner edge of the right foot drops to the floor. Outer edge of the left foot presses to the floor. Roll open. Big breath in, and then move on your exhale. Hands come to your floor. You can add a vinyasa there if you'd like, or come down in child's pose, we'll all meet there. And settle the breath. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, rise on up. We're just gonna shift the weight to one hip, right or left, doesn't matter. Swing the legs around front, and find a stack pose here. So legs stay straight, toes point up towards the sky. Let the hands come to your sides. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, hinge from your hips, and fold forward. Heart goes towards the toes. Shoulders slide away from the ears. Hands can be on the floor or on the legs, maybe the feet. Take two more full breaths. And rise on up. You're going to bring that right knee in towards your chest. Grab on the outside of your left or right leg and then swing it over your left leg. All right. And then left arm reaches up here. Keep those left toes pointing up towards the sky. Take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and take a twist here. So look over your right shoulder. Keep your right sit bone grounded. Lift your heart. And inhale, and then exhale, counter this twist. So bring it all the way around to the inside of your right leg, right hand and right leg meet each other, and then look over your left shoulder. Keep flexing that left foot. And then release, unwind here. Shake the legs out a little bit. 
Bring the left knee in, hold on to the left leg, and slide it over across your right. Get that nice tall spine here, right arm reaches up, elbow to the outside of the left knee, and then look over your left shoulder. Keep the right toes pointing up, keep that left sit bone grounding down. And inhale. And then on the exhale, counter the twist, bring it all the way around. Left arm inside of left leg. Look over the right shoulder. Keep your right toes pointing up towards the sky. And then move on your exhale. Unwind the legs. Give them a little shake out. Okay, and we're gonna to come to the floor. So bend the knees, grab onto your hamstrings here, and then lower all the way down to the mat. And bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze here. We're gonna take the left ankle to the right thigh for figure four. Grab onto your right hamstring and slide your right knee in towards your chest. Use your left elbow to help open up that left side and keep both feet flexed. Take two more full breaths here. So release your hamstring. We're just gonna take the left foot over to the right and let it come to the floor. So the outside of the right leg goes to the floor and then the left foot comes to the floor, but the foot and the leg are still connected. Take your gaze over to the left. Take your right hand and just gently push your left knee away from your chest. So it's a little subtle twist, but a twist all the same. Breath in. And exhale. All right, pull your belly in. We're gonna come back to center. Unwind the legs. Squeeze both knees in. And then we'll go opposite side. So now right ankle to the top of the left thigh. Flex both feet, grab onto your hamstring here, pull your left knee in towards your chest. Use your right elbow to help open up that right side. Notice if you have tension in your shoulders, see if you can release there. Two more breaths. All right, and then release the hamstring again. We're gonna come into that little twist. So the right foot's gonna come down to the floor. Outside of the left leg touches down. That ankle and thigh still are connected. Take your gaze over to the right and then take your left hand to your right leg to gently press that knee away from your chest. Before you come back to center, pull your belly in. Come back to center, bring both knees into your chest. Final squeeze here, squeeze everything really tight. Knees to chest, lift your head and your shoulders up off the floor. Tight, 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 tight. 
And then as you inhale, stretch everything out. Reach your arms up over your head, reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Exhale, release. Let the palms face up towards the sky. Let the feet just fall open. Let the eyes close down. Once again, the shoulders melt. Another full inhale, long exhale, wiggle the fingers and the toes, let your head move side to side, just go nice and slow. And then when you're ready again, nice big stretch, nice long stretch, arms up over the head, stretch through the fingers, stretch through the toes. Knees come to chest and roll on over to your side. Take your time and come back to a seated position. Find a nice tall spine here. Let the hands come to heart center. And I will uh, give you a reading for today. It's actually yesterday's reading from our book, but it's awesome. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. You have presence. Take a seat and notice how your body connects to the surface on which you are sitting. Then shift your attention to the places where your skin touches the air. Think to yourself, this is where my body meets the world. A thin layer of skin is all that separates your body from all that is not your body. And yet the energy of your body extends far beyond the parameters of your body. People sense you, people see you and hear you. When you feel isolated or disconnected from the world, when you feel that your ideas and opinions are not being heard, stop for a moment. Take the time to notice this deep connectivity with the world around you. Remember that your body extends out into the world farther than you can imagine. You matter. You make an impact. You have presence. I hope you have an awesome day today. Thank you for sharing your time and your practice with me. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.